joined today by Frank de Winne. He's the head of the European Astronaut Center and he's based in Cologne, Germany. He offered graciously to uh, um, do a vignette with us, answering the questions um, that we uh, um, that we have asked um, our uh, friends and partners. First one up, um, how you um, dealing with COVID-19 personally and as an organization? Yeah, so good morning, everybody. So personally, of course, I'm also teleworking from home since uh, two months now. Uh, and as an organization, of course, our main concern is to keep the uh, operations on the International Space Station uh, running. Uh, that means uh, support to the crew, support to the science activities there, uh, continuing to man our uh, operation centers, of course, in, in a reduced way, in a different way, because we need to make sure that the people there stay healthy and stay safe as well, but also the crew on orbit. And actually, in April, we had to bring down three crew members that were already there since six months, and we launched three other crew members. And of course, having those crews uh, coming from all over the world, the, the US, Russia, uh, Japan, bringing them to Can Kazakhstan and launching them in a safe environment so that COVID-19 does not reach the space station was uh, quite a challenge, of course. I can imagine. The uh, um, what what was most surprising and and in terms of positive or innovative responses or changes that you have witnessed um, during the pandemic? Well, the most surprising I think is uh, to see how uh, within this international organization, uh, NASA, Roscosmos, uh, ESA, as well the European Space Agency. People have adapted very quickly to the teleworking uh, and to the way to communicate uh, remotely uh, via video conferencing, all kinds of tools that we are using now, and the quite reduction in travel. We used to travel quite a lot to have meetings all together, uh, and uh, today this travel is, of course, completely uh, reduced. So it's quite amazing how we were able to adapt to that as an organization. Of course, we, we were able to adapt because. Uh, we all know each other, we are good friends, we are partners, uh, we negotiate very hard with each other, but we are also friends. And of course, uh, because this friendship is there, you can continue to do this over uh, uh, electronic means. But for sure, I, I think this is not a sustainable situation as well. Uh, in the future, we will need to have again the face-to-face -face meetings that we uh, usually have. Uh, there are, of course, activities that we cannot do uh, by teleworking, uh, think about testing uh, new equipment, testing new science uh, in our test centers. Uh, for that, of course, uh, people need to go back on site and uh, they need to be able to operate and, and to do the, the in uh work that is uh, required. Yeah, very interesting. The, do you think it will stay, um, you know, the lack of traveling? Um, do you think it will stay that way or um, are you um, expecting to go back to normal? I think uh, the, the lack of travel or the, redu the reduction in travel will certainly be something that uh, will stay. We used to have, for example, biannual meetings uh, face to face. I, I think we will reduce this maybe to an annual meeting, but it, it will not completely vanish, of course. Uh, if you work in international organizations around complex matters, and the space station is, of course, the most complex infrastructure that we have ever built. Uh, we work with uh, 22 European member states. We work with NASA, Roscosmos, with JAXA, our uh, Japanese colleagues, all different cultures. Uh, from time to time, you have to be able to sit in the same room, uh, get to know each other, uh, see the expressions uh, on the face, and also in the evening, go and uh, have a beer together so that you can build friendship, that you can build trust, because uh, this endeavor that has been ongoing now for 20 years is there because everybody trusts each other. And for that, you need to be able to see each other uh, in person. So yes, uh, I think the, there will be a reduction in travel. I think we will continue to telework more from home. It's also good for some people. Uh, we, have, uh, we have done a survey with our staff members and a lot of people like to be at home and work at home so they don't have to commute every day. Uh, but this will not be the only thing that we will be doing. It will be a mix, uh, but for sure, I think there will be uh, lasting changes. Yeah. Speaking of that, um, how do you think this is going to change society and um, and how we work in general? Well, I think we already see changes in, in society right now. Uh, here in Germany, for example, uh, 
uh, when we go to the stores, uh, people keep distance, uh, people are wearing face masks, uh, uh, there is much less uh, socializing, so I think this will stay for, for a while. Also, the teleworking, I think, will stay for a while, that, uh, or maybe forever, that uh, companies that uh, were very, uh, I would say, not so proactive in, in teleworking and in digitalization now see that it work, and they will for sure uh, make a, a step in that direction. Uh, I'm quite sure uh, about that. So certain things are for sure there uh, to last. The fact that we need strong governments, the fact that uh, healthcare is essential in our uh, society that healthcare workers need to uh, get well paid and that they are uh, part of the core of our business. Uh, I think these are things that that will stay for for quite a while and maybe for for the the near future. Yeah, I mean, it sounds to me like a change for the better, um, for sure. Well, I, I think there are a number of aspects that for sure we can change for the better. Uh, maybe the globalization went a little bit too far. We see now that we are completely dependent on third countries uh, here in Europe for the, the basic substances, the basic face masks, for example, that we need to make, the, the reagencia that we need for the tests and, and, and so on. So I think uh, probably uh, globalization is, of course, good. Trade is good. It has uh, brought a lot of people out of poverty. Uh, it has brought a lot of uh, goods to also the people here in Europe, but maybe we get we went a little bit too far. So I think there will be a lot of rethinking how we will in the in the future organize the world society, the world economy, uh, but certainly as well here in Europe, the strategic sectors and the production that we will bring uh, probably back here to Europe. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, it would be certainly good to see you again in New York as well. And uh, the European Astronaut Center here from our European Space Agency is always yours to visit.